Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacklers workshop. And um, as you can see, the uh, all the uh, materials for the um, Congreve clock has arrived. Now, um, it was all in one box, but it was so heavy I couldn't carry it out the stairs, so I had to um, take it out the box um, and um, carry it up individually. So, um, what I'm going to do is um, take it out of all the wrapping and let you have a look at everything that I've got. Um, I know I'll, I'll remove all the packaging off camera. Got the, uh, the workshop knife. And um, yeah, th there's no point showing you it because you probably just fast forward anyway. So let me um, clear all this uh, packaging off and then we'll have a good look at it. So I'll see you back here in a minute. Okay, thank you. Hi everyone, so we're back now. Um, everything's unwrapped. And as you can see, it's uh, we've got brass on this side. This is, let me get tape, give you a bit of an idea. So these are the, I think these must be the pillars that hold the clock up, seven and a half inches long, uh, about an inch, uh, inch thick. Uh, we've got some, uh, what's that, five eighths. And we've got a, about a foot long, so 12 inches. You metric guys can do all the conversions. Um, Big chunks of brass here. Uh, we've got lots of small brass plates. So let me just um, so various sizes. So these are for some of the component parts. We've got some steel here for the um, I think they're the gears or I think they're called pinions. Um, then we've got a, a bit of steel plate. It's got a little dink in it actually so I'm gonna have a look and see whether that is a problem or not um, some more more brass um, let's have a look what we got here 13 by 10 and a half so that's about I don't know I don't know I think that is eighth or something like that and then we've got the two main um, pieces of brass. Oh, these are reasonably heavy. Um, and they're 12 and a half by 12. So uh, uh, what else have we got? We've got the main spring and the, uh, the cable for the fusey. Um, <laughs> Look at this, talking fusies. I don't, sounds like I know what I'm talking about. Um, so it's all becoming an incredibly real now. And I'm thinking, what the hell have I taken on? But anyway, we're, um, we'll have a good go. Um, now, you may be wondering how I'm going to know how to do this. So this is a, a book. Uh, that I think you're going to be that way around. Um, uh, by John Wilding, and uh, it, it just gives you all the information. John had uh, well, he's passed away now, but had written many books um, on how to build various machines, uh, various clocks, and this is the one for the Congreve clock. So I'm pleased to have that signed by John. Um, I think most of them seem to be signed by him, so I think he signed them all. Um, and a lot of it was done, a lot of the drawings, everything, a lot of what he did was on a Myford lathe. So it's pretty much, it says in the book that you don't need anything other than a Myford. Um, now I've been looking, um, I've been talking with uh, another clockmaker up in um, Sheffield and um, he's he's got some... Um, interesting tools for the MIFA to allow to allow you to um, do some of the some of the machining processes so I'm waiting for a price for some of the material uh, for that so I may go with the MIFA for the majority of this um, just to see if I can do it on you know I think it might be more interesting to see um, see if I can make the clock just using sort of hand tools and 
I'm I'm pretty much one machine tool, but I may, I may it may not be possible. You know, the goal is to get a clock at the end of it, not you know break some special record. Anyway, that's about it. The gear's here now. Um, so um, I got this from a company in the UK here called um, Ian Cobb. So um, thanks to Ian and and the person I was talking with was Jackie um, there and um, they know all the component parts and all the material you need although it's listed in the book um, so you can get it from there and try and source it yourself sort of individually you can just go to Ian and ask him for a price for a clock can they even do a um, um, it, it's a uh, a printed it's not the actual book but it's um, uh, their own copy of the book you know so you can get if you can't get hold of one of these original ones you can you can get a book and they do various different clocks if you want to have a go at making a clock so um, and that, and they seem very pleasant to deal with so that was uh, that was good um, so next thing is when I'm gonna start so I'm gonna start immediately as this only arrived um, so today's Sunday, I'm filming this, it's arrived on Friday tea time, so um, I've got a few other distractions in the um, in the workshop because I've bought another machine um, and that's got me um, got my interest at the moment. Um, However, and as you know, I'm trying to get the grinder, the shaper, uh, the tool and cutter grinder, just looking around. Um, going so they're, they're also things I, I've got to try and keep moving as well so I think I will have my first video out on this um, within the next four weeks um, so yeah so we'll, we'll see it all starting to progress so that's about it for today um, as always um, stay happy strong and healthy and I'll see you on the next one cheerio